What's good, YouTube? It's your boy PT from the lower side of the motherfucking neighborhood. You dig me? Bring y'all another visual. Uh, was at work. I was talking to a few of my homies. And um, we was really in that motherfucker brainstorming about who Breeze can be. And I told him, look, he coming season three, Raising Canaan. We got four season two coming. You know, Tommy, he on straight villain demon time. Shout out to my favorite white boy. But uh, my favorite spinoff is uh, Raising Canaan because, you know, you're getting the prequels. You're getting the same characters as OG Power, but now it's, it's different. You know what I mean? So you get to see him again, but on some younger shit. Because they asked us, Tommy Canaan and, and Ghost always used to talk about they past. So they past and what the fuck happened and how they became who they is. That's why I'm, that's why I be fucking with Razor Canaan because we about to get all the juicy shit visually or what the fuck they been through and became the man they became. So, but uh, we were sitting there talking about who can who who can who 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 can be Breeze. Options that we're gonna uh, we knocking the fuck out of there. Uh, Breeze ain't goes that. One of them was like, bro, Breeze goes that. Like that'll be just. They would already, if Breeze was uh, Ghost Dad, they would already kind of said that. That ain't nothing to kind of hide. There's no storyline there. Like, I mean, it is, but it, it's cheesy. Um, Ghost Dad was a drunk. He was an alcoholic. Uh, they ain't mentioned nothing about Breeze being a drunk motherfucker. Only, only real good dialogue we got from somebody that used to fuck with him is Canaan. He said Breeze was, you know, he was strong in the streets, but he wasn't smart. He was predictable, but he was some type of connector distro because Kane and Tommy and Ghost was working for him. So Ghost, uh, Breeze being Ghost dad, we throwing that one out of there. But who I, who I truly believe who Breeze is going to be, I feel like it's just a gut instinct. I feel like usually my predictions be um, – somewhat accurate but uh i feel like breeze is gonna be unique's brother when uh, ronnie mathis when he get out of prison i feel like he gonna go by the street name breeze um i forgot to you know gotta have a nickname you know what i mean in the hood so i feel like he go he go be breeze um another one is unique changing his name to breeze because you heard what he said and um Last season when he uh had old girl at gunpoint and shit, uh the bitch rock go end up killing. But uh you heard what he said. He said my names ain't he said my name don't my name ain't shit out here on these streets no more. I ain't got no name out here. I'm I'm fucked up out here. So um in the 48 laws of power, one of the laws I I believe is say like um or in my words, basically rebuild yourself, start over, start fresh, come with a new game plan. And that and that can start with having a new name instead of unique. He start fucking with motherfuckers, dealing with motherfuckers. No, nah, my name Breeze now. You know what I mean? I'm Breeze, nigga. I'm calling the shots off this motherfucker. Or... My original, original um, theory or prediction on it, I was thinking he's going to be D-Wiz's brother. Because it's like I keep saying, you see when um, D-Wiz was mentioned his brother getting out of state or getting out of prison or wherever the fuck, you see how Raquel and fucking Lulu looked at each other. And you heard what Raquel said to D-Wiz. She was like, your brother was a bad, he a bad boy. Like, your brother was a bad boy. So, them is my three main predictions on who breeze can be not ghost dad none of that shit but i feel like he either unique changes his street name to breeze or um unique brother get out of prison and and and, and, and um he entitled himself the name breeze or um or it can be um d where's brother we still have yet to see him he ain't show his face on camera yet, you know, on, on season one and two. So that's what I feel like. Um, 
It can be it can be some it can be a whole totally new character that we ain't been introduced to seen yet, but I feel like they mentioned them a few times. It's either them three. And then what a few months ago, they just said that uh they cast Unique's brother, Ronnie Mathis. He ain't got no street name yet. Think about it. He ain't got no they ain't put his street name out there. They just gave him they gave us his government name. I think, yeah, I think it was Ronnie Mathis or some shit like that. They ain't give him like uh aka uh, you know, or AKA this, they just said Ronnie Mathis is getting out of prison. He coming to season three. And then old girl posted a fucking a plane with the name breeze on it. Hashtag raising cane in season three. Shit starting to add up. You know what I mean? So we definitely finna see, uh, y'all know if y'all been fucking with me for a while on me, uh, I want to know who the fuck this breeze motherfucker is. Like Kane said, say he was strong. But he wasn't smart. He said, man, um, Ghost knew that motherfucker be up here around 7 o'clock to watch Jeopardy. I feel like Kanan has something to do with that, too. I feel like he manipulated Ghost to kill him, Breeze, so Kanan can run shit. But Kanan didn't know. He, he didn't have an idea in his mind that fucking Ghost would do that to him. Because I feel like Kanan was really taking care of um, Tommy and Ghost. Like, you heard what uh, Tommy kept saying. He was like, he was like Ghost, it's Kanan. He basically practically raised us. Uh, they never said Breeze raised them. They said they always kept saying Kanan raised them. So I feel like Kanan and Ghost and Tommy, they had a deeper brotherhood than Breeze had with Ghost and Tommy. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like Breeze going to be the type of motherfucker. He run the streets. This is his product. He probably fucking with a connect or he is the connect or he probably the distro. And um, he giving these little niggas work. Y'all niggas ready to hustle. Y'all ready to get money. Y'all ready to eat. Let's get it. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't, but you are, but, but to go back, Ghost also said about Breeze, when Tariq said, man, tell me everything you ever did. He said, start with Breeze. He like, look, man. He said, I love Breeze. He was family to me. He was a brother to me. But he got in the way of my future, son, so I had to get rid of him. What Kanan don't know is what Kanan can't tell you is that I gave Breeze one last chance to change his mind. He didn't, so he forced my hand. So Ghost saying Breeze was like family to him. He was like a brother to him. That kind of make you think like, well, no, they probably did have a deeper connection because he gave him the name Ghost. Breeze gave him that name, so... You know, can't see the motherfucker coming, can't see him leaving. That's probably how Ghost killed him. Because Kanan said, Breeze didn't have time to get scared. Ghost went in there on ghost mode. Wow. And um, and I remember the, one of the scenes in the OG Power when uh, Tommy and um Ghost was talking at uh at his club Truth. He said, Why he said, fuck with Reese. I ain't taking orders from a snitch at snake ass, and I never will. And he said, Why will Roller do it? We've been knowing him for years. Tommy looked his ass in the eye and said the same the same reason that two former corner boys looked Breeze in his eyes and shot him in his head. Motherfucker do anything for that top spot. So that's why I fuck with Raising Canaan because it's it's telling what the fuck. It's filling all these holes up. It's telling longer stories like Marvin, Lulu, Rock, all that shit. It's, it's telling the real, it's telling what's going on. And I feel like they go introduce Tommy and Ghost and young Angela and young Tasha and young Paz, um, Angela's sister, and um, all that shit. Because ain't none of the Raising Cane mem um, cast members is in um, fucking um, um, Raising Cane. So you got a whole totally different motherfuckers. You got Rock, you got Lulu, you got Marvin, you got Symphony, you got motherfucking. Young Kane, oh, well, young got Kane in a jukebox, but no Breeze yet. Um, no Tommy yet, no Ghost yet, no Tasha yet, no Angela yet, no Paz yet. None of them motherfuckers yet. So that's they, they working their way into it, but that's that's what I feel like that shit gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be either Unique's brother, Ronnie. D Wiz brother or unique change the street name. It's either them, it's either them three. 
that ghost dad shit, nah. Tommy basically said that your dad was a drunk motherfucker. I don't think Breeze and you know is a alcoholic. From what I think, we still don't know nothing about this motherfucker besides the stories we heard in OG Power. But I doubt he a drunk motherfucker out there fucked up on the block, big ass bottle in his hand. But he out here, he supposed to be a distro or connect. They don't move that way, so we gonna see, man. It's your boy PT, man. Follow me on my IG. Be on Facebook, my little Snapchat. I just created a Snapchat. I ain't never really do all that Snapchat shit. But uh, one of my homegirls, she's like, get on the Snapchat. Woo woo woo. I'm like, all right, I'll get one of them motherfuckers. I'll get one of them motherfuckers. I just created one of them damn things. So, yeah, man. Uh, PT from the Lowe's. I'm signing the fuck off. Like I said. Who was Breeze?